Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make this penguin wall hanging. This piece was so fun to make and looks so cute. I think you could even put this up in a kid's room all year round, not just as a Christmas decoration. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy making this with me. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay tuned for more and let's get into the video. For this project, you will need black, white and orange yarn. You want your needle, some scissors and a hook. To begin, you want to take your black yarn, create a slip knot, and chain 30. So one, two, three, four. And there is our chain of 30. What you want to do now is a double crochet into the back loop of the second chain from hook. So yarning over, going into that back loop, yarning over, pulling through, pulling through two loops and pulling through the last two loops. And you want to repeat this all the way down the chain until you have 29 double crochets in total. So when you get to the end of that row, you just want to chain one and turn your work. And we're going to repeat the last row, one double crochet into every stitch all the way along, 29 double crochets in total for another three rows. So you'll have four rows of double crochet with the black in total. So go ahead and work up those next three rows and I'll meet you back for the next step. Okay, and once you've finished those four rows, what you want to do is chain one and turn your work. You're going to flip up the bottom of your work so that the bottom row meets up with the top like this and you're going to double crochet into the first stitch but also put your hook through the first stitch on that bottom row and this is going to create the channel that our dowel will be able to go through later. So you're just going to double crochet into each, each stitch along and you want to make sure that you have 29 stitches still once you get to the end of that row. So I'll meet you back then. Okay so once you've reached the end this is what it will look like. You just want to chain one and turn your work. And this is when we're going to start bringing in the white. You're going to do one double crochet into the first four stitches with the black. So one, two, three, and four. Into that fifth stitch, you're going to go in like you're doing a double crochet but you're only going to pull through the first two loops. And then you want to grab your white yarn and you want to decide which side of the work is your back side and which side is the front side now. And you're going to pull through those last two loops with your white. You're then going to go into the next five stitches with a double crochet in your white. So one, two, three, four, and five. Into that sixth stitch, you're going to go in but you're only going to pull through those first two loops. So you're going to drop that yarn to the back and pick up the black. You're going to pull through those last two loops with your black. And then you're going to go into the next six stitches with a double crochet in your black. And six. 
and then into that seventh stitch you want to go in but only pull through those first two loops. You're then going to drop that yarn to the back and pick up your white. And you don't want to be pulling too tightly, otherwise it will cause your work to curl. And then you're going to go into the next five stitches with your white for a double crochet. And then into that sixth stitch, you're going to go in, but only pull through those first two loops. And drop your yarn to the back and go into the rest with your black. So pulling through those last two loops with the black, and that's five stitches. So when you get to the end, that's what you should have. You just want to chain one and turn your work. You're going to go into the first three stitches with a double crochet in your black. So two and three. You then want to go into that fourth stitch but only pull through those first two loops. You're going to drop that yarn now to the front and pick up your white. Pull through those remaining two loops with your white and then go into the next seven stitches for a double crochet in your white. And then into that eighth stitch, you want to go in, but only pull through those first two loops. We're going to drop that yarn to the front, pick up our black, pull through those last two loops with the black, and then you're going to go into the next four stitches with a double crochet in your black. So one. You're then going to go into that fifth stitch, but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front, pick up your white, and then go into the next seven stitches with a double crochet in your white. So one. You're then going to go into that eighth stitch but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the front, pick up your black, and go into those last two loops with the black, and then go into the next four stitches with a double crochet in your black. And that finishes that row. So when you reach the end, you just want to chain one and turn your work, and then you're going to go into the first two stitches with the double crochet with your black, and into that third stitch you're going to go in, but only pull through the first two loops. You're going to drop that yarn to the back and pick up your white yarn. And then you're going to go into the next nine stitches with a double crochet in your white. And into that tenth stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back and pick up your black yarn. You're then going to go into the next two stitches with a double crochet in your black. And into the third stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops. Drop that yarn to the back, pick up your white, pull through those last two loops with your white. And then you're going to go into the next nine stitches again with your white for a double crochet.
and into that tenth stitch you're going to go in with your white but only pull through the first two loops, drop that yarn to the back, pick up your black and go into the last three stitches with your black for a double crochet. You're then going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to go into that first stitch for a double crochet into the second stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops you're going to drop that yarn to the front pick up your white pull through those last two loops and then go into the next 11 stitches with your white for a double crochet and into that 12th stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops drop that yarn to the front pick up your black pull through those last two loops and then you're going to go into the next stitch but only pull through the first two loops with your black drop that yarn to the front pick up your white again pull through those last two loops and then go into the next 11 stitches with a double crochet in your white go into that 12th stitch but only pull through the first two loops drop that yarn to the front pick up your black pull through those last two loops and then go into the last two stitches with your black you then want to chain one and turn your work and you're going to go into that first stitch but only pull through the first two loops with your black you're then going to drop that yarn to the back pick up your white pull through those last two loops and then you're going to go into the next 26 stitches with your white for a double crochet into that 27th stitch you're going to go in but only pull through the first two loops drop that yarn to the back pick up your black and pull through those last two loops and then you're going to go into that last stitch but only pull through the first two loops take your white again and pull through those last two loops you then want to chain one and turn your work you can then take your scissors and cut your black yarn 